Republicans could vote on the latest choice for speaker just hours from now. Last night, they voted Mike Johnson, congressman from Louisiana, to be their fourth speaker candidate since Kevin McCarthy, congressman from California, had to vacate his seat. Congressman Tom Emmer dropped out just four hours after initially being voted in as the nominee yesterday. And Republicans may be going into the vote with optimism now. Let's watch. This is one of those challenges where once you've sort of broken the egg, it's hard to get the shell back together. But Mike is popular uh, on people in the center right and uh, both wings of our party. So I think uh, he's got a very, very good chance. He has the support of the former speaker, Kevin McCarthy, and of uh, Jim Jordan. So that's a big start. Congressman, what's your take on it? Uh, we're at we're, we're a, a sweet spot. A uh, sweet you know, spot? We, we, we are. Uh, it's all it's all about unity. And, and I'll tell you, Harris, the one time I failed in my entire career of unity is when I, we went Super Bowl 15. All the guys could care less about who got the credit. We, we started this process months ago, transactionally, people coming aboard based on what they can get out of it. We're now based on the fact that we want to focus on American people. Mike is the right person for the right time. And we'll come out this, uh, this process more unified than ever before. Watch this Congress moving forward. We might be forgotten as individuals, but this Congress will be known for what we've done to pull everything together and get the American people back to work and getting faith in institutions again. And I'm very, very excited about Mike, what he's going to do, and the party, our conference, so, what we're doing right now. Just real quickly, what will be the first thing that you'll seek to do once you're all we're unified and have a House Speaker? A resolution to support Israel, the very first, very first act. And then we'll start looking at our appropriations. But our first act to make sure that America and Israel and the rest of the world knows that this Congress is about the safety of our friends and, and, and making sure we back them every way we can uh, to, to, to show how much we care for them and how much we are on, this, on, the, same, on the same page. Well, just a, a request from probably millions of Americans, including this one, deal with the border because we potentially have some more killers coming across it. I, I know it's a struggle for our Border Patrol, but they're doing a great job so far. Congressman, thank you very much. Good to have thank you in you. focus. Thank you, Harris. Take care, buddy. U.S. troops in the Middle East.